Sham, how can I go about hiring an intern? And this video is gonna address just that in three, two, one, and here we go. Hello everybody, my name is Sham, known in the community as the responsible restaurant owner. And for the last 10 years, I've been helping people open, run, manage, and uh, create systems for their restaurants. And uh, one of the questions I do get, uh, is Sham, I would love to get some interns, but how do I go about actually getting them in? And uh, it's very simple actually. You know, most, first of all, you need to define who these interns are going to be. You know, um, do you want people from the hospitality school? Do you want students that are doing actually hospitality management studies? Those most of the time are going to be the one that's going to be the more willing to come and do an internship. Now, something I want to clarify out there because lots of them, lots of restaurant owners come to me and tell me, Sham, it's free labor. You know, I can come in and I can have somebody come and spend 100 hours, 200 hours, 300 hours sometimes and pay them zilch. And I disagree with that philosophy at all. An intern is not there in order to spend 200 hours doing your roll-ups or doing things in order for you to save money on labor. You will save money on labor. That's for granted. But I, in my book, even if the intern is willing to do it for free for the sake of getting credit for their school or getting just some kind of experience, do offer them some kind of compensation. I personally like to pay the minimum wage in order to make sure they get as much money as the others. Some, sometimes I did hire some interns and I offered them a bonus based on project achievements. And you know, and the restaurant business offers such an exciting platform because it allows you to touch up on so many different fields, on the marketing, on the management, on the information system, on the, I mean, there's so many different topics. So yes, lots of people go and think first, oh my gosh, I'm just going to have hospitality students. I'm going to have people that's going to go to culinary school. Why don't you get some people from the marketing department, from the management department, from the information system, any single aspect of your business, you can go across the board and literally make a call to say, hey, I am looking for some interns that can come and help me do an evaluation, audit, and research the market if I am up to date. And in that regard, you have somebody who is acquiring the experience that they seek and you're not paying that much for it. Do not hire interns just because it is free labor. I don't think it's fair to them from a, just from an ethical standpoint. You also need to have a program for your intern. And uh, the best place to go and look for interns is just to reach out to the schools. It is amazing how many departments in the school are always seeking job placement because guess what nowadays? The kids go to school and they have zero zilch kind of work experience related to their field. So internship for some majors is actually required. Now, for you to be go out there and, you know, and get free interns, it is not as easy easy it's not as easy to say as to do sorry for my english there but uh you know because a lot of the chair the department the people responsible for the internship program know that a lot of restaurants businesses overall will take advantage so you have to be extremely careful especially with all of them but especially especially with the first ones because the first ones are going to go back to the university, to the chair department, to the person responsible for the internship program, and they're going to give them feedback. At the beginning, the school, the university may only be able to give you one intern. If you are lucky, you know, but once you do good by them, they keep on coming. They keep on again, coming again. It is just common good business practices. Do what's right. Stick to the basics. Now you're going to tell me, Sham, you know, I'm a little bit intimidated. Which kind of internship program should I have? Well, guess what? I have good news for you. Down at the description of this email, of this uh, video, sorry, you should have a link where you can go and download for free a sample internship program that you are more than willing to copy paste, put your logo on there. And that's my friend, when you're gonna be going to the hospitality school or any kind of department and tell them, hey, listen, I have an internship program based on the amounts of hours that you need. And you know, and you're gonna, and you're gonna be, able, it's gonna make you look good pretty much. It's gonna show that, hey, you know what? You have a program in place. Lots of the internship coordinators will already ask you, do you have an internship program in place? And if it is, show it to me. This is something I need to be able to show to my students. 
Now, uh, another thing that also I have done that was great for me is to connect with entrepreneurial uh, departments. You know, most schools nowadays have entrepreneurship uh, departments and reaching out to them and, you know, talking to the departments and say, hey, you know what? Do you need a speaker? Do you need a guest speaker to come in? And a lot of instructors out there like to have actual business people go there and share with them pretty much their life experiences. And uh, that's something that can definitely help you build some community reach out there. Now, I know you're going to tell me, Sean, man, I'm stuck in my kitchen. I'm stuck in my dining room, etc., etc. But, you know, that maybe means that you just need to delegate a little bit more. And once again, delegating does not mean that you just give them the responsibility and then you forget about it. But it's just that instead of doing everything on your own, yes, nobody is going to do a job as good as the one you do. But you know what? They're going to be able to do 70% maybe. If they do 70%, it's a win, right? And uh, you know, that should free up some time for you to do more business development, uh, acquire more quality labor, more quality employees, build community network, and just work on programs to get your restaurant full. You know, lots of restaurant owners are guilty, but also uh, a victim of working inside the restaurant. You know, you always hear that work on your business, not in your business. And you know, a lot of us, when we start the restaurant, we want to work in the restaurant, you know, because that's where the fun is. You know, we want that interaction, etc. But then you realize and gosh, hey, man, it's a business. You know, I need to treat it as such. And for that, you know, being and waiting tables or working in the kitchen, preparing food may not be the best return on your money based on your skills. Now you're gonna tell me, Sham, I don't I don't have any skills, I can't speak English that well. Well guess what my friend? I came to the US, I could not speak English for nada zilch. That's why I make so many mistakes on all these videos. But you know, you can learn little by little. Uh, it took me like 20 years to get here, but you know, I was working like hard, you know, because it was an ego thing. I will come, people will not understand my accent, people will not understand my words, people will not understand my ideas. And it was very, very frustrating. And actually, it pushed me to actually excel, do a little bit better. So step by step. And, you know, and if you have particular questions about that special segment, I'll say, hey, Sham, you know, I'm a man of the kitchen. I can't get out on the floor. I don't like talking to people. There is options out there to shoot me a little message privately or on this page. And you know what? I'm sure that the entire community can benefit from it. So that's pretty much my take on how you can go out there and get yourself an intern. You know, you can get interns. Once again, do not stick to just hospitality school or hospitality management. You'll be amazed at how many kids out there are excited just to have an idea to be inside the restaurants. You know, personally, I really think as professionals, we have not done a very good job at promoting the hospitality industry as a serious and great career option and I really do believe that we need to change that by being a little bit more professional by caring more and by literally having systems in place that are consistent and repeatable so once again that was Sham the documents once again is down below I look forward to your comment do subscribe do share uh, the more people are aware of that the better of a community we can build together to your success remember the secret ingredient is love check out my website the response Responsible restaurant owner, and until we meet again.